In the vast expanse of space, missions rarely go exactly as planned. Two NASA astronauts aboard Boeing's Starliner capsule recently experienced one such unexpected extension to their journey. Originally scheduled for a short stay, astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams will stay longer than originally planned on the International Space Station. This seems to be due to some technical problems with their spacecraft. Starliner launched on June 5th, and Wilmore and Williams docked with the ISS on June 6th. But the mission's complexity increased when the return dates were moved from June 18th to June 22nd, then to June 26th, and now to an unspecified date. The main reason for the delay is a series of technical difficulties that arose after the spacecraft reached orbit. The first signs of trouble came when multiple helium leaks were detected in the propulsion system. Initially thought to be non-critical, these leaks became the focus of NASA engineers. To compound the problem, five thrusters failed as the vehicle approached the ISS, delaying the docking for more than an hour. NASA and Boeing are closely monitoring these issues to ensure the safe return of the astronauts. Steve Stitch, NASA's commercial crew program manager, stresses the importance of data-driven decision-making. He assures that the mission management team thoroughly analyzed all available data to address helium leaks and propellant performance issues. This careful approach is critical to the safety of the astronauts and the success of the mission. Although the delays have been frustrating, Wilmore and Williams have integrated seamlessly into life on the ISS. They assist the station's seven-person crew, contributing to ongoing scientific experiments and operational missions. Their extended stay provides additional opportunities to collect valuable data and improve Starliner's systems for future missions. Starliner's mission is crucial to NASA's plans to certify Boeing's capsule for regular flights. Despite the delays, the information from this mission is invaluable. It will inform improvements and allow future missions to proceed with greater confidence and safety. Although no exact return date is set, NASA is targeting a window after a planned spacewalk on July 2nd. With ample supplies aboard the ISS, there is no immediate rush. This careful, methodical approach underscores the commitment to astronaut safety and mission success. Boeing's Starliner, once certified, will join SpaceX's Crew Dragon in ferrying astronauts to and from the ISS. Several commercial space stations are in various stages of development, promising an exciting future for space exploration and commercial activities in low Earth orbit. With successes and setbacks, each mission brings us closer to a future where space travel becomes a routine part of human endeavor. Stay tuned for more developments on this fascinating mission and the future of space exploration.